you know, I've, I've been in the social sciences for a long time. In fact, I have all sorts of funny degrees in the social sciences, from managerial economics to psychology to management. I have a number of them. The social sciences are really important in my, in my po from my point of view, and I'll tell you why they're important, because we can have all the great science in the world. We can have the greatest climate change. We can have the greatest medical uh, research on prostate cancer and everything else. But how do we get men to turn up when they have symptoms of potential prostate? How do we do it? How do we change the behavior of men who try to deny it and don't turn up? How do we change people's attitudes towards sustainability, the climate, and everything else? That's more important. You could have all the greatest science in the world tells us really we can identify that, uh, that illness. We, can, uh, we know for sure what causes problems. But you have to get people to change their behavior. And actually, almost all the social science, economics, psychology, sociology, you name it, is about behavior change in one form or another, but from different perspectives. If somebody said to me, social science isn't important, I'd say to them something like, so education isn't important, health is, individual health isn't important, because what we're trying to do, for example, just in the health arena alone, is we're trying to get people to engage in physical exercise, we're trying to get them to eat proper food, um, get a balanced diet, uh, we're trying to get people to uh, engage in sport as well, and do things in their, walk 10,000 steps a day, hey, how do we do that? Without the advice and help of the social scientist who's done the work on how people are going to actually make their own health better, we're lost. What I think is really fascinating is how the government has adopted social sciences in the way by creating this what works uh, approach. And they're all over the country, small pockets of, of groups of social scientists who, who, have, who are working with government to try to get people to change their behavior with regard to their health, to change their behavior with regard to sustainable issues, to change their behavior in terms of paying their taxes on time and, and also paying for things like um, the, the uh, TV license, a whole range of things. In other words, social scientists, whether they're sociologists, psychologists, economists, are developing techniques to incentivize people to take on behaviors that will help them personally, will help their families, uh, uh, actually accessing benefits that quite a lot of people haven't accessed, didn't know about, um, uh, requesting flexible working arrangements, which is coming in now at the end of June, uh, which is all about people now have the right to request it, regardless of whether they have kids or not, no kids. It's a, a whole range of topics. And I think this is a real uh, move forward for the social sciences. It's a real stamp of approval. I think social sciences, until recently, hasn't been very good at promoting itself. We have great academics. If you take the UK, we have more published papers than almost any country other than the United States, and we're second in the world for top quality publications in the social sciences. The campaign for social science is really, really important. And the reason it is, is because it is disseminating what we do. It's letting the wider community, it's not just the media, it's government, it's business, it's a whole range of uh, stakeholders and saying, hey, this is what we do. Look at, and we make a difference. We've done that and the bottom line is it delivers that. Whether it's about in education, or in social services, or in health. And we, we hit all of those areas. We're really very proactive in all those kinds of areas. We just have to let them know that we are.